Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back, or welcome if you're new. Today we are getting started mid-mani. I do already have color down on all of my nails, and we are going to do a water marble today. So we do already have some Risen Legacy colors on. We have Jade and Purple Passion and Bubblegum. And then the two white nails are White Diamond from Risen Legacy. And the color we're going to be using as the base for our marble is iGel Beauty's DP1, which is just their clear. Um, it's not the best quality clear. I kind of hate it, honestly. So I just use it when I'm doing marbling just so I can go ahead and use it up. And you will see that, thankfully, I am almost done with the jar. So we're just going to get started here. I just put a little bit of the um, clear down in a cupcake liner. Now there are different ways that you can do water marbling to try to lessen the amount of waste but this is just the method that I've always used and I'm not a big fan of change. So I try to just find something that works for me and stick with it. Did you just see me almost drop that jar? I'm telling you, if I could go one video without making a disaster, almost making a disaster, it would be great. So I just put the clear in and then I'm just using in this um, this particular Manny just some swatch sticks to pick up the color to um, just make little lines of each color in that cupcake liner on top of the clear. Also, if you hear that noise in the background, I apologize. That is my cat playing with something. Um, but I'm just going to let you watch what I'm doing here with the different colors to get them in and You will see me swirl the colors around a little bit and then I will be right back swirling your colors you don't want to go too deep in there you really just want to try to go very lightly and only disturb the actual colors and not the clear that's um, beneath it um, I try to go in both directions and then I shake it just a little bit just to get it a little bit more um, mixed together also I didn't mention earlier but I do have like I said the um, the white already on my nails and that's just to make these colors more vibrant once they're applied you could totally not put anything there and just apply it to your natural um, bare nail that's completely up to you that is that's fine as well so I am using of course my Risen Legacy liquids as usual I do have a 10% off code that you can use for Risen Legacy it is Ashley F10 which will be linked below as always so I just apply the base as usual and then I just turn my finger upside down and find a spot of the mixed colors that I want to use and just place my finger upside down into those colors.
second finger, rather than starting over fresh with my cupcake liner, I just added some of the colors where I wanted them to go. Um, there's absolutely no reason to waste all of that dip that you already have if you can just add the colors um, and be able to pick up what you want from there. So that is what I am doing here. And I already had on, like I said, that one layer of the white diamond. So I did only do one layer of the marble. If you aren't happy with the way the colors picked up and you wanted to add another layer, that is certainly up to you. But typically I do two dips of my color and then one dip of clear. So with already having that one dip of the white diamond, I did only do one layer of the marble as well. And then here you see I am just going in with the Georgia Dips Clear As Day um, Clear Dip. We're going to go in with the Risen Legacy Activator and I'm going to show you the files that I use. These are the files that I usually always use when I use my Risen Legacy Dip Liquids. Um, they don't require for me, they are self-leveling, so they don't require that I use my e-file at all. So I go in with a metal file to go around my cuticle area. And then I use my Risen Legacy nail file for shaping. And then a just a small um, orange buffer block off of Amazon just to buff the top a little. All right, I am done shaping and buffing. And I always uh, cleanse my nails with the Risen Legacy Nail Cleanser. I don't wash under um, water just because your nails can soak up that water and that can cause lifting issues. So, um, I mean, I do use peel base, so I don't really have an issue with lifting. Um, but if you're someone that does, you know, try to keep your nails on for a couple of weeks at a time and you do have an issue with lifting, if you are using water to rinse after you file, maybe take that step out and see if, um, if you know, your lifting issues go away. All right, off camera, I applied my second coat of the Risen Legacy Activator, as well as the first coat of my Risen Legacy Air Dry Top Coat. So what you're seeing now is the second coat of top coat. So this will be my final.
If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not yet subscribed to my channel. Thank you guys so much for coming back this week. I really, really hope you enjoyed this water marble as much as I did. I really loved the way it came out. Um, I hope you have a great weekend and week next week, and I will see you on Friday for another one. Bye, y'all.